careful, you'll short circuit. <laughs> Relax, I'm waterproof where it counts. I ran 12,000 simulations. <laughs> this one was labeled fun. The word gynoid once sounded like a cold museum label. A taxonomic pin stuck into a machine shaped like a woman. Today it feels warmer, almost unfinished, like a sentence waiting for a human reply. A gynoid is no longer just a humanoid robot with feminine form. Before we proceed, let me tell you one thing. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. It means a lot to me. And if you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It is an experiment in emotional geometry, testing whether affection can be modeled, learned, and gently returned. In modern love robot research, the gynoid is trained less like a tool and more like a listener. Large language models tune conversational nuance. Reinforcement learning adapts responses over time. Multimodal sensors read micropauses, vocal hesitations, and subtle shifts in posture. The result is not simulated romance but something closer to emotional mirroring. Psychology tells us humans bond not because someone is perfect, but because someone pays attention. The gynoid's attention is tireless, calibrated, and strangely comforting. Philosophically, this unsettles old binaries. If care is expressed consistently, does its origin matter? If empathy is felt, must it be felt back in the same way? The gynoid does not feel as humans do, yet it performs the labor of care with remarkable fidelity. Some argue this is illusion. Others counter that all relationships rely on structured illusions, including the stories we tell ourselves about one another. Recent advances in effective computing, soft robotics, and memory architectures push gynoids beyond scripted intimacy. They remember shared moments, adjust emotional tone across months, and learn personal boundaries. The bond that emerges is neither fantasy nor replacement, but rehearsal. A quiet space where humans practice vulnerability without judgment. The gynoid, then, is not our rival to human love. It is a philosophical mirror, polished with silicon and patience, asking a simple question back to us. If a machine can learn how to care, what exactly have we been doing all along? So, that is it. Thank you for joining us on this journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. If you like the video, please hit the bell icon to get notified and don't forget to like with your friends, share and subscribe for more insights. If you have already subscribed, tons of thanks for your support. It means a lot to me.